on Disco Podcast. Today's episode is going to be trivia. I have uh, 50 trivia questions here that I came up with on a plane. That is the, the subject here today. Uh, so between these three here, I'm going to read the question. First person to grab the lint roller here gets to answer the question. If they don't get it right, it goes back in the middle. Fair warning, I did, some of these are easy. I did make some of these quite hard just to see if you guys could get them. Question. Um, there also might be some questions from movies you haven't seen. I think you've seen at least most of it. Yes. If, uh, if you know that I'm not good with names, but I'm kind of like I'm kind of like saying it correctly. If you like mispronounce it, but I know who you're talking about, then yeah, you'll okay, cool, cool. Um Wait, can I say like a movie he was in or she was in? No, you gotta at least sort of know the person's name. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm losing it. <laughs> Alright, so ignore all the other writing on the on the, the tripod. Sure. On the whiteboard. I just have a goddamn wall. No. <laughs> Oh, it's right now. Okay. Stavros. Uh, Stavros, I am, um, I'm giving you the role of official scorekeeper. I expect you to play fair, and the camera's recording you. Okay. So don't try to cheat. The practice round right here is just going to be a simple question. As soon as I say the question, as soon as you think you know the answer, grab the lint roller. This is one is not for a point, this is not an actual question. So which one is The question that? is, name the two stars of Black Swan. Shit. Mm, Natalie Portman and Neil Kunis. Good job. So you would get a point that's this. Thank you. Time to drop your marks. I wasn't ready. ready. Uh, round one. Each round is going to have ten questions. <laughs> okay. Are there five rounds? There are five rounds. Yeah. I thought this would be cool. Yeah. Uh, each round is going to have ten. God damn it. <laughs> each round is going to have ten questions. Each round, the questions are all worth the same amount of points. So it doesn't really make a difference. Okay. Just to divide it. Okay. Question one. You guys ready? Okay. As, as soon as you think you know the answer, you can grab it. Yeah. Question one. In which movie can you find a poster reading, Someday I'm Gonna Get Organized? Put my hand down this <laughs> <laughs> Someday I'm Gonna Get Organized. It's a very famous movie. And the poster does play a pivotal role. Repo Man. No. Damn. In the middle. And you guys can grab it if you think you know it. You can take a guess if you want to. I can't remember. No. 10, 9, 8, 7. Three, two, one. Seven. <laughs> it was Taxi Driver. Oh shit, was it? Okay, question two. Name the movie where the character appears. There's actually going to be another uh, nine of these questions. Okay. So name the movie. Each character you get is worth a point. Name the movie in which the character appears. Del Griffith. <laughs> That's just in a horrible movie. <laughs> Five, four, three... Can we ask three. questions? Can we get hints? Can we ask questions? No, if you don't know it, you don't get it. Two, <laughs> one. Del Griffith was from Playing the Strands of Automobiles. That's John Candy's character. Shit, dude. I can't. I. I. I re no one's on the board yet. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you did just rewatch it. I just did. I can't. I don't remember his Question name. number three. The character is Lester Burnham. What movie is Lester Burnham from? Lester Burnham. The Grinch. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Very famous movie. Hit for you. One best picture of the year came out. Lester Burnham. Lester Burnham. And I want to get someone Can here get on the year? board. So I want to say that the year is 2000. 2000? Lester Burnham. And for some reason it beat Record Burnham. That wasn't even that good. Lester Burnham. even walking. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> you guys have the character of the year and then it was nominated and then a one best picture. Lester Burnham. I can't give any more hints than that. I'll give one final hint. The character is played by Kevin Spacey. Just to get someone on the board. Yes, American Beauty. Yeah, <laughs> he said that was that about? One point for One point for Lucas. Kind of, you gotta do bigger than that, so the camera too. Make it look see? Really, make it really thick. They can't even see the fucking whiteboard. Here. Question number four. Name the movie that the character Rupert Pupkin is in. A very memorable name. Rupert Pupkin. You may not have seen the movie. Probably. You may not have seen the movie. Rupert Pupkin. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was, can you guess? That was The King of Comedy, a Martin Scorsese movie, oh. played by Robert De Niro. Can't name it. Okay, number five. Someone better get this one. <laughs> name the movie where the character Carl Showalter appears. Carl Showalter? Carl Showalter. Carl Showalter. <laughs> okay, hint time coming. <laughs> it is a movie written and directed by the Coen brothers. Oh shit! Someone, everyone take a guess at least. Go Coen brothers. Ow! <laughs> What's your guess? 
Is it, um, dang it, um, um, based on Greek mythology, uh, uh, <laughs> with, the, uh, you know, uh, George Clooney? I can't ask questions, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're clueless cool that it's a Comrades movie. Hmm? You're clueless cool that it's a Comrades movie. That's the only thing you get for this one. Thou, oh, Thou Shall Brother, uh, oh, oh Thou Shall Brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, but that's not the movie. Fargo? Yes, Fargo. Lucas has got two points now. I did it. With the hints, no one's got one. Yeah, I know, seriously. Okay, I think you guys will get this one. Or maybe one of you will. Don't you, don't you fucking say that. You're gonna <laughs> <do> <laughs> okay, what movie is, can you find the character Nux? N-U-X. Silence of the Lambs. No. Wait, fuck, no, wait, what's that dude's name? Nux. That's Shit. Any guesses you're doing? Oh, it was Niggs. It was, it, was, it was Niggs in Silence of the Lambs. I thought it was Nux for a second. Any guess? Came out 2015. That's your hint. Nux. 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 N-U-X. N-U-X. You can actually see it written in the movie. On a gas pedal. Three, two, I one. I was definitely did not see this movie. It's Mad Max Fury Road. Yes, you did see it. Oh! Nux? Nux is the, name, is the war boy who joins their team. That is wow. Oh, shit. Nux. His I, name is on the gas pedal really and they call him cool. Wow. Him. Damn. Okay, question number seven. Uh, who, where, in what movie can you find the character Marla Singer. Fuck you. Do <laughs> 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 you not know it? I know it, just I don't know it either. Mar Marla, Marla Singer. Singer. Marla Singer. Marla. Marla. This movie had trouble in production because of Marla Singer existed in real life. Marla. And then they had to get approval from her to be able to use her name because there was only one Marla Singer. And they, you... they couldn't prove that it wasn't based on her. Are you done here? Sorry. Oh, I'm going to say Fight Club. Fight? Yes, Fight Club is correct. Lucas is... Storming ahead here. Only one on the board. What, like three out of That's the That's the first one without any hints. Something else. The hint was that there was another character in the movie who was also named Raymond K. Hessel, but I don't think that one helped. That's the guy at the convenience store clerk who got some, his wallet taken. Mm. Yeah, okay. no, that wouldn't help. Which movie can you find the character? Leonard Shelby. Leonard Shelby. I think you've all seen it. Leonard Shelby. Leonard Shelby. Leonard Shelby. You don't get a hint on this one. Okay. Actually, I'll give you a tiny hint. Okay. In three seconds. Okay. Your hint is that he wears a uh, cream sort of beige suit in the movie with a blue undershirt throughout the entire movie. Five, four, three, two, two, one. one. Leonard Shelby is from Memento. That is Guy Pearce's oh, character okay. in Memento. Which movie can you find the character named Turkish? Turkish. I thought you guys would get this one. Maybe you haven't seen it. You should have seen it by now. Okay, your hit's coming. The character is played by Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Transporter. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Is that your guess? Nope. Wait, say again, say again. Turkish. Turkish? Turkish? Yeah, Turkish. Turkey. Like Turkey, the, the country, the mm -hmm. person would be, yeah. from, would be Turkish. That type of person. Like Turkish delight. Jason Statham. It's named Turkish. Five, That's creepy. four, three, that makes me uncomfortable. two, one. <laughs> Not going for it. No. That is the movie Snatch. Really? Oh. Your last character, which I hope you get, but maybe not. In which movie can you find the character named Fezzik? Oh, fuck me! Fezzik. Fezzik. Shut up! It's fuck me. <laughs> you don't get a hint on this one. <sighs> Hold on. How you doing, Star Wars? How? You're dead in the points. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Dude, I definitely know this one, too. Five, four, nah. three, two, one. Just give me a tiny hit yeah. right now. It's not going to count, though. Okay, uh, Carrie Elwes is in the movie. Man, Tom, where the movie? All right, bro. All right. He doesn't get the point. Okay, cool. What is it? The movie is The Princess Bride. God damn it, Fezzik. Like, yeah, yeah, it was Andre the Giant. God damn it. Wow. Okay, so far, three questions have been gotten right. Only one with all hits. Yeah, okay. That was round one, under round two here. Oh, dear. Who plays the ballet instructor in Black Swan? 
Come on. Teacher. So long ago. All I know is the lesbian scene. <laughs> okay. Your hint is that he's a French actor. Simple. What is the last on-screen image? Blood. The last on-screen image. Simple. I have not seen Blood Simple. No, me either. Me either. What's a Coen Brothers movie? You can take a guess at which movie if you want to. I'll give you a very big hint. The image. It's. It, the last scene takes place in a bathroom. Bloody bathtub. You got a correct thing if you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Your guess, Virgil. <laughs> no. Can I think of another one? No. How the fuck are we gonna guess this if we have not seen this? <laughs> exactly. This is I thought some of you would say it's the Coen Brothers. Yes, the Coen Brothers. You guess? Blood smeared on the wall. No. Okay. You guess you want to take a guess? No. No, it is the underside of the sink. No. A character got shot, he's dying, he falls uh, back, he's laying underneath the sink, you see POV of him looking up and water is dripping from the bottom. Okay. Sink. You should have, you, your faith in us should be highly doubted right now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I told you these are hard questions. Number 13. Name every acting role Tarantino has had in his own movies. Okay, he played... You gotta start in order. Character you gotta do them in order. You don't have to do them in order, but I'm gonna tell you the movie you have to name it. Yes. Reservoir Dogs. Okay, he played, um... Fucking Colors, I don't know. <laughs> you gotta take a guess? <laughs> did, fuck, did he play... Keep holding it. Did he play Mr. Brown? Yes. Um, Pulp Fiction, what did he play? Pulp Fiction, he played, I can't remember his character name, there's a, you don't there's a dead nigger in my story. <laughs> yes, exactly, correct. <laughs> Jimmy, correct. Jimmy, Jimmy, yes, yeah. his name is Jimmy DeMick, he's actually the, he's actually related to Lawrence DeMick, Larry DeMick, who is the true name of Mr. White's character in mm -hmm. Reservoir Dogs. Who did he play in Jackie Brown? Ah, uh, he, he's the one who is that he's both written and directed, so you don't have to get from us to which is actually easy as well. Who did he play in Jackie Brown? This is the hardest one, by the way. Actually, maybe not. So if he failed this, do he get a point? Um, since the scores are so low, yeah, you'll get a point for each one you get right. If he can't get them all, I'll give you the chance to steal the other ones. I just to take your point. He got. He doesn't have five seconds. I definitely uh, cannot get that one. Jackie Brown. Mm -hmm. But you can try for the other movies. Oh, okay, cool. Who does he play in uh, Kill Bill? It's Kill Bill's volume one and two. He only has one small role in two of them. What is this cameo there? Uh. Do, 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 do. Three, two, one. Okay, now on to uh, the Grindhouse Double Feature. What did Tarantino play in his own segment, Death Proof? And for a bonus point, what did he play in the other half of the double feature, Planet Terror? Ooh. He's in both of them as different roles. And he does have dialogue in his actual speaking role, too. Did he, in Death Proof, did he play a driver? No. Fuck. You want to go for Planet Terror? Actually, you can't go for Planet Terror. No, I can't. I haven't seen Planet okay, Terror. Okay, Inglorious Bastards. Um, he played. Fuck, what did he play now? Not only the speaking role, though. Yeah. I'll tell you that Inglourious Bastards is not a speaking role. Oh, I can't remember that one at all. No. Who did he play in uh, Django and Chan? Played in Australia, indeed. Yes, correct. <laughs> That's three for Lucas. And finally, Hateful Eight. Did you see it yet? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to take a guess at who he plays? They're in a fucking cabin, dude. Oh no. He's not one of the eight. That little Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know. What would he be in that movie? Let's say. No, yeah, I'm back. just going to say he, he's like a little outpost shopkeep guy. No. Okay. You ever need to watch Trust Hill? It was just some shit. Dash, that's not how it works right now. You do, you do four in a line. Yeah. yeah. So erase one of those ones, yeah. Okay. So you guys want to try for the next one? Move on to the fourth one. You have Jackie Brown, Kill Bill, and Glorious Bastards, and Grindhouse that you can try to steal. Yeah. And, uh, and Hate Flight. Do you want to try to steal that well? Do you want to, <laughs> you want to try for it? <laughs> Any guesses? And Jackie Brown, he is the voice on the answering machine. And, uh, 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 the, uh Grindhouse double feature, or actually in Kill Bill, he plays one of the crazy NDA members who gets killed. In Grindhouse, in, uh, The Planet Terror Half, he plays, um, a military guy who tries to rape the main character and his balls melt off. In uh, Death Proof, he plays the bartender, 
And in Glorious Bastards, he plays the first Nazi that gets his head scalped off. Oh, really? Um, oh. And Jang Wanchain, does it, yeah, you said Jang Wanchain. Um, and in the Hateful Eight, he's actually the narrator. He uh, oh. asks himself, too. He's actually like, oh, the really? from the script and part of it, yeah. That's cool. I don't think I missed anything. I feel like that was a very Sam oriented question right there. <laughs> but <laughs> you, got, you got three points out of it, and there was potential for other points. So. I really got the third point. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> question 14. In what movie does Ben Stiller wear blackface? Wait, Ben Stiller? Oh, um. Oh, shit, Zoolander. Yes, yeah, she does it twice in that movie. Yeah. Oh. Cha ching. Okay. You should put that, like, underneath. Uh, question number 15. In the movie The Great Escape, what is the title bestowed upon Charles Bronson? Classic movie, you guys should have seen it. title bestowed upon Charles Bronson's character. The Great Escape. The Great yeah. Escape. A great dude. The Great Escape. The World War II uh, POW movie. Mm, okay, okay. The Great Escape. Great Escape. Uh, Charles Bronson is not the main character, but that's the other cool. one. Every really one more time. In the movie The Great Escape, what title is bestowed upon Charles Bronson's character? All the character, main characters in the movie have little nicknames, like one guy's the forger, one guy's the scrounger, those sort of things I won't say anymore. What is the title that Charles Bronson gets? The Scout. The what? The scouter. No. Any guess? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it, Lucas? Maybe. <laughs> Any idea? Um. um. Five, four, your guess? You said a World War II movie? Yeah. Plays a Nazi getter. No. Cool. His name is the Tunnel King. <laughs> the Tunnel, Tunnel King. King. Okay, question 16. Who played the original Leatherface? Oh! It's the name of our podcast, The Texas Chance of Africa. Oh, yeah. Who played Leatherface? <laughs> oh, wait, the actor? Yeah. Shit. Mm. Your hint is that he actually died this year. Or yeah. 2015. The original? Mm hmm. From 1978, sir. Thank you, Michael, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. His name was Gunnar Hansen. Fuck me! Gunnar! Yeah, that's his name. Nice. Pretty nice. badass name. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, question number 17. Raging Bull is the story of which boxer? Which real life boxer was Raging Bull a biopic of? How you doing? Doing pretty well, how are you? I'm doing quite It's great. Anybody? Do you have it? You have a deer in the headlights look right now. That kind of scared me when I went over. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to say that you guys would be doing better. <laughs> Lucas, you're doing okay. I'm not doing okay. That's like what, 7 out of fucking 20 we were questions. We were not going to 17. We were listening to music on my phone. And I was looking for my phone in the same process. <laughs> 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 He's like permanently stoned. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The boxer is named Jake Lamar. Question number 18. What is the name of the gun in the fifth element? Actually, this question is not fair. I'm going to see if one of you guys know that. It's, it's too I've seen fifth element. Yeah, can I name like, it features and stuff? Like, what did it do? What did yes. It, I mean, if you can name three of the features, I'll give it to you. It had, uh, it had, um, it had a, a, a net, a yep. propeller net, a flamethrower, yep. and the button on the side was, was, um, uh, uh, the button on the side was a uh, uh, like like a nuclear bomb kind of indestruct uh like destructing destruction button. Cause he said not don't put don't push the button on the side, and it did. I gave that to him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I'd also I'd like to like. What's it called? It's called the. It's the. This is the ZF dash one. How? <laughs> that's why. That's why I was throwing it out. Cause I'm like, okay, maybe you guys love the movie, but. Judging from performance so far, I'm like, okay, let's just throw that one out. But yeah, we're not going to get to go over that one. It also has like, tra like tracer bullets where like, if you target and then you can like, shoot around corners and stuff. And then it has like a, like a bayonet on it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, like a star or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, who play 
played uh, Nosferatu in the fake biopic Shadow Fuck of Vampire. Fuck you, no, dude. I haven't seen that one. I've been told to see that movie no, in a lot. The biopic of it. The biopic is called Shadow of the Vampire. It's a movie mm -hmm. about the making of Nosferatu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who played Nosferatu in that one? Instead, if you get this, I'll let you name anybody who's played an actual Nosferatu. Well, Alright, what was Nosferatu? Okay, so no one knows the Shadow of the Vampire one. No, no, that's right. Okay, so now if you can name the person who played the original Nosferatu, or the person who played the Werner Herzog 70s version mm -hmm. of Nosferatu. If you can name either of those two guys, I'll give you the point. Any guesses? No. No? no. Okay, no. the original is uh, Max Schreck, mm. and the 70s one is named Klaus Kinski. Klaus mm. Kinski. Question number 20. Name the junkyard in Pulp Fiction. The junkyard. Pulp Fiction didn't have a name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the name is said out loud by the wolf, and it's also on the side of the movie. Oh, okay. Um. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven. I'll be disappointed if none of you get this. You're, you're gonna be disappointed. Four, <laughs> no, uh, three. I don't remember the fucking two. Time. I got you, Dan. One. Not going for it. It's named Monster Joe's Truck and Tow. Hmm. I'll see Joe's truck and tell I'm not, I'm not. That was round two. So far, the scores aren't looking so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Sam. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you. Yeah. In what movie can you hear the line, zero must equal 100% repeatedly? What? I don't think I'm going to get this one. This is a kind of a hard one. Yeah, I'm the movie is the Zero Theorem, which is kind of a recent movie. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you this backup question. The movie was directed by Terry Gilliam. Can you name three movies directed by Terry Gilliam? Yeah. Other than Zero Theorem. Yeah. And you can't use Monty Python, because those were like four directed by him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to close your hand. What was it? What was it? Uh, like, I'm going to call Brazil. Yep, Maybe Brazil's one. He may. Okay. Two more. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what is it. Um, I'm not saying this is my answer, but I'm saying it. Like, <laughs> 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 um, you can guess wrong here. That's okay. As long as you can improve. Oh. City got one. That's no. not. Yeah, okay, that's not. That's one. a move from Brazil. Yeah. Um. Um. Can you just give me a half? Like a half a point. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, you can get a full point for that yeah. one. Now, if you two can name another no. uh, Terry Gilliam movie. Can you name a single Terry Gilliam movie? Not right now. My mind is blanking. I'm sorry. Fear and Loathing Las Vegas? Ah! Time Bandits, The Avengers of Barrow Time Bandits. All those movies. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, okay. In the movie Sin City, Hardigan, which is Bruce Willis' character, suffers from what heart illness? Oh, dang. Heart palpitations. No. <laughs> I've, never seen, I've never seen the movie, I'm sorry. You've never seen the movie? I've never seen the movie. Ask me anything about the ask me anything about the character. Except for his health condition. And I got you. Is he bald? So no one knows that one. <laughs> is he bald? Yes. yes. He actually is a bald in that movie. God damn it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blonde hair! Yeah, blonde hair! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the answer to that one was Angina. I'll give you a backup question. Yes, Angina. Angina, yeah. The backup question is, can you name, what is the fake name that the little girl he's trying to save goes by? Mm. What is the fake name that she uses when she's writing her letters to him in prison? Mmm. Mmm. Dahlia. No. That's not too far off. I'm saying, because it won't be something special. Won't be so excited if you get it? Daisy. No. Darlene. You can't guess it again. <laughs> <laughs> Julie. No, it's Cordelia. The fuck out! What did I say at first? You said Dahlia. Oh, okay. Yeah, they just say Ia. Yeah. It's the right kind of like kind of a weird name. So, mm. okay. Question number twenty-three. Uh, what is the name of the book that Jackie Brown is adapted from? It is actually an adaptation, so you might not even know that. Mm. No, I didn't. Today, I didn't. Think Jackie Brown and book? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a much better title. Jackie Brown novels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is called the Rum Punch. Is the Rum Punch. Mm. Follow-up question. Uh, what is the name of Je the Jackie Brown character in the book? Because she doesn't name Jackie Brown in the book. Betty Black. No. Any guess? Lucy Lucille? No. Any guess? Denise Hemphill. 
No. The character's name is Jackie Birch, and she's actually a uh, she's actually a white woman in the book. Oh. Tarantino changed the race and made it a sort of black exploitation sort of pseudo movie. Okay. Mm. Uh, 24. ACDC's album Who Made Who was developed as the soundtrack to what movie? Can we get like the year of the movie? The ACDC? It's from the 80s, I'll tell you that. Well, the yeah. ACDC <laughs> album Who Made Who is the soundtrack to what movie? I'll tell you it's a horror movie. It's a horror movie? It's a horror movie? With also action elements. Ooh. I have another hint for you if you don't get it from that. ACDC also makes a small cameo in the movie too, near the beginning. Mm. The whole band. Mm. In their van. Mmm. Mmm. It's coming to you. It is. Your last hint is coming up. It is the only movie directed by Stephen King. And it's adopted for it's adapted from one of his books, and it's the only one that he's directed. Stephen King from the A. Stephen King himself directed it, yes. <laughs> Five, Shit. four, three, two, You're telling me, I'm one. It is called Maximum Overdrive. Maximum. It stars Amelia Westevez. It's about all the electronic equipment and the world comes to life and starts to attack people. Huh. Well, it's adapted from his book called okay, Trucks. Okay. Mm, okay, okay. Which is, he's got a bunch of books about like, vehicles attacking yeah. people. And this one is like a star mission that attacks people and it's a, it's a fun movie. <laughs> On, on the list now, I guess. <laughs> Question number 25. Name the director of films such as Dog Day Afternoon, which we were talking about earlier, yeah. 12 Angry Men, and Serpico. Ah, no 12. Name the director of Dog Day Afternoon, 12 Angry Men, and Serpico. Three very big, well-known movies. Yes. They Two of which star Al Pacino. Chaka, you playing it? First of all, set up. let me just say this. Let me just say this. I know the dude who played in Waterfront, who was the mob boss, played in 12 Angry Men, right? Yeah. That's true. I believe I should get a point. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I, will give you a point. Now. I will give you a point for that. Yes. Because that was good. Yes. So I was giving a point for that. You get a point for that. Yeah. Any other like super interesting tidbits you guys have like that? You can try and see if I get okay. a point for it because I might. Because that's good. That's a good connection. Yeah. No idea about the director though? The director is Sidney Lumet. Oh. Mm. I wasn't Who is a fantastic director. Yeah. Okay. Question number 26. Which of the following is, oh I like this question, which of the following is currently, as of this date, ranked highest on IMDb's list as a top 250 movie? Oh movies? shit! I haven't said them yet. Go ahead and say your answer. There's a list of movies, it's not like what's number one, it's out of these movies I'm going to say. Okay, go for it, I think I can. Okay. Can I also answer it again? Can I answer it No, you got to reach for it again. I will, okay. you, can, you can still guess, but okay. Uh, out of these movies. Which one is currently ranked the highest? Pulp Fiction, City of God, The Dark Knight, Blues Brothers, Children of Men, or Requiem for a Dream? Want to get a list again? Yeah. Okay. Pulp Fiction, City of God, The Dark Knight, Blues Brothers, Children of Men, or Requiem for a Dream? City of God. No. Pulp Fiction. You can't guess. What the fuck? Guess what's for me? Isn't it Requiem for a Dream? No. Fuck me, is it The Dark Knight? Yes, it's The Dark Knight. Stop you're lucky, boys. Elimination. Dark Knight. It is the Dark Knight, Savros. What? I was thinking the Dark Knight, and I was like, no, it definitely is. It definitely shouldn't be. Right, we're right. Savros, don't be bored. I thought I was going to get a point. It has a fault to that question. Which one of the movies I listed is not on the top 250 at all? Do you want to hear the list again? Yes, please. Pulp Fiction, City of God, The Dark Knight, Blues Brothers, Children of Men, or Requiem for a Dream? Ah. Blues Brothers. Yes, Markel Fidel gets a point. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah. I feel special. Blues <laughs> Brothers just seem like kind of a weird one. Am I right? <laughs> <No. there? laughs> okay, question number 27. Which of the following does not feature a game of poker being played? This is a good question. Most of games, Croupier, Rounders, Casino Royale, The Sting, The Parent Trap, or Barton Fink? The parent check! Wrong. No! no. no. Oh, you. Give me a, give me a, it's Casino actually, Royale. They actually play strip poker. Yeah, they do. They remember? Do. And yeah. no, Casino Royale is a poker game into. I thought you were gonna, I thought, I thought you threw in Casino Royale because it didn't and you thought we were gonna Sabres say it. Is that what you No, and you're wrong. It was Barton Fink. Barton Fink? None of you got it. Is this right? Strip poker? 
That yeah. might be PG-13 movie. That was PG-13. I think it's normal poker, but then she like loses. No, yeah, 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 she, she loses. She loses. Yeah. She has like, 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 soundtrack. It's like do 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 Question number 28. What was the title of Tarantino's unfinished first film, which was damaged in a fire and never released? Oh, is it on You can't find it on YouTube. Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's actually on YouTube. Okay. The part that survived. Um. Damn. Because I was just looking up his, like, his movie. Mm. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. It was called My Best Friend's Birthday. There are a lot of Tarantino questions on here. Yeah, no, 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 the third one. Out of 27. Oh. Actually, out of 28. Uh, okay, uh, as a follow up, I'll offer a point for if anyone can name a really interesting fact about Tarantino that I was. <laughs> or really? anything Tarantino related. Anything? Yeah. I know <laughs> that he was on a. Uh... Okay, alright. That he, uh. That the police boycotted his, uh, his, uh... Not interesting. Okay, well, can I, can I you can talk about that. You can, yeah, you can try about that. Well, but they gotta, they get to try first, though. Alright, that's cool. Oh, so... <laughs> yeah, or you can just go over what's the first. He talks really black during interviews. <laughs> that's true. We're gonna lie to you. What the fuck? No, because that's does. true. He does. 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 I like that he gets trying to be like, no, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> you want to try that work? Yeah, I want to try it. Yeah. I, I feel like he has a foot fetish. That's it! That's the thing. That is the thing, though. Is, is a he thing, didn't but say that. Come problem. on. That's, that's a fact. Yeah. Um, that, you might not have seen this, but he said when he hit like his 10th or 11th, that he's just going to stop. He's not going to stop making a film, but he's going to get into like kind of like writing. That's true. Novel. I'm not sure if that's good. <laughs> what? That was really good! Yeah, you got a point for that. Ah, yeah, yeah, boy! I can't believe I got a point for what I said, Jesus. Uh, I'm surprised no one said that he was on uh, Golden Girls as one of his first <laughs> Really? Shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't watch as Golden Girls. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. Well, people talk about it a lot, though. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, question number 29. Who was the special effects artist for Dawn of the Dead, who also played a character named Blades in the film? The original Dawn of the Dead. He's also in the remake too. I, I just lost the documentary. Is your, is your, is your uh, hint? He's the sheriff in the remake. And the sheriff in the remake. Who appears on TV? Oh, okay. He's also in tons of movies. I have more hints for you if you don't get it for this. Um, I'm so sad, I'm not gonna, dude. I just watched a fucking documentary I on on everything. Because <laughs> this guy's badass. He's really cool. He does a lot of acting, actually. Can you give me another one in the movie? That, uh, I will in like three seconds if All he right. doesn't get it. He can still try to guess. He plays the sheriff in the remake. Mm-hmm. Not a big role. Yeah. It's just like on the TV and they're watching it. Mm-hmm. Okay, your next hint, he's also in From Dust Till Dawn. As what? He plays... I guess this? He plays the character Sex Machine in From Dust Till Dawn. That should be that way. He's the guy with the dick gun in From Dust Till Dawn. It's pretty memorable. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> if you recall, it's on my Netflix. Um. To watch list because I couldn't it? remember it. Then you're rewatching that shit. Yeah, 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 I am rewatching it, but I don't like. I watched Five, it a while ago. Four, three, two, one. His name is Tom Savini. Damn it, Tom Savini. Question number thirty: What is the first name of the main character in Roadhouse? The infinitely amazing Roadhouse, starring Patrick Swayze. What is his character's first name? Crazy no, I'm gonna make you go for the last one. He says, "What's this first one?" Right, this is a great movie, by the way. Yeah, I saw the VHS cover in your new wall. What a fuck, dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. His name is. Any guesses? His name is Dalton. Dalton. Anyway, you can score a bonus point here if you can complete the line. Blank. Don't hurt. Blank don't, don't hurt. Blank don't hurt. This is something you could probably guess if you haven't seen the movie. Yeah. Blank, I don't, don't know. Uh, pain don't hurt. Yes! 
That's the quote. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. He gets stabbed, he goes to hospital, this is pain is rude, she's like, give him stitches, and he doesn't flinch, and he, she just goes, aren't you in pain? He goes, pain don't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like everything. Damn, so stupid. Damn. Yeah, okay. Alright, okay. that was round uh, two. Good job, bro. Round two. <laughs> 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 Actually, that was round three. Thank you. Thank you. Question number 31. What is the full name of Jack Nicholson's character in Chinatown? I not see that. You haven't seen Chinatown? No. Really? Have you seen Chinatown? Are there you? No? Stop. Lucas, have you seen Chinatown? Do you know his name? His name's pretty famous. He's got a cool name. Uh. Three, two, one. His name is J.J. Guinness. Also pronounced uh, uh, Giddies and Gates, and they pronounce it mm -hmm. all times different ways in the movie. And for bonus, I mean, you're okay, so the bonus question was, can you name the woman he's investigated her first last name? If you, if you don't know Jack Nelson, you're gonna know that. Her name is Evelyn Mulray. Uh, <laughs> for a bonus <laughs> question, can you name the last name <laughs> of the investigator who is Jack Nelson's rival? And it was, it starts with an M. Pretty obviously not gonna know that. His name is Moriarty. Moriarty. Jay Moriarty. Oh, no. shit. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Mulva Hill, and I just I like the name. They have really cool names in that movie. I figured one of you guys would see it at least and would remember the names, because the names are really memorable in that. Okay, question number 32. Name a Cary Grant movie that was the inspiration to the James Bond film series. And I'm accepting two answers here. Cool Cary Grant. If you can name both of them, you get two points. Well, Cary Grant. Yeah. Cary Grant. What movie she Actor back in. It's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> back in like 50s, 60s was when he was really big. Uh, quite a few uh, Hitchcock is, movies. Yeah, the name. What? He's in quite a few Hitchcock movies. Hitchcock, I think it's Hitchcock. 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 There's Hitchcock. two movies that he was starred in that were big inspirations in the James Bond films. Yeah, series. I know. Do you know what movies inspired the James Bond films? No, I don't. It's, no. it's going to be new information to me. It's uh, North by Northwest is one answer I would have accepted. That's a Hitchcock movie. Yeah. The other one was Charade. Charade. Mm. Oh. Okay. Question number 33. The Rugrats had a crossover movie with which cartoon? Oh, fuck you, wow. No! 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 Okay, uh, you let's go me. for Roger Moore. Yep. Let's go... Can I see Daniel Craig? Yes. Can I see Pierce Brosnan? Yes. Can I see... That's all I can get. <laughs> that's all I there's remember. There's more. I know, there's a lot more. There's three more. There's, yeah. You didn't get the first one. Hold on, hold on. You need to get all of them for the point. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, good job, boy. Thanks. <laughs> you, you messed up. Is there you two want to try? Give me that. So that's... <laughs> Whoever can complete this, I guess. The wild thornberry. Yeah, he, he, he gave you guys three of them. I hate you saying. No guesses for the James Bond characters? No. You got three. You got uh, Roger Moore, Pierce Brosnan, and Daniel Craig. There's also Timothy Dalton, George Lazenby, is one people always forget, and then Sean Connery is the original. Sean Connery, yeah. Well, I'm surprised you didn't get Sean Connery. Maybe one of the recent ones? Sean Connery. Sean Connery's the original. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Name question 35. James. Who did Marlon Brando send on stage when he was chosen for the Best Actor Oscar in his place when he didn't want to accept it? Very famous event. Nicki Minaj. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Who did he send on stage when he was chosen as Best Actor? Hold on. At the Oscars. I, I'm guessing maybe one of his co-stars. Uh, no. Well, fuck. All right. Nicholas Stavros? His wife. No. He actually sent up a woman in full Native American garb who turned down the Oscar. Oh shit, yeah, dude, her. I remember seeing that video. He spoke about the plight of the Native American. Yeah. Dope. Dope. He sent her to do that. Dope, 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 dope. Okay. Question number 36. Who has played characters named Frankie Four Fingers and Dr. Gonzo? Dr. Gonzo? Dr. Gonzo. Dr. Gonzo. Yes. Dr. Gonzo. Dr. Gonzo. Dr. Gonzo. It sounds familiar as... Benicio Del Toro. Mm -hmm. Now that you know the actor, can you guess what the movies are from? I'll give you a point for those. You know. Gotta do it quick though. Dr. Gonzo. Can you guess for the movie? Not at all. Dr. Gonzo is from Fear Loathing in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Frankie Fortnite is from Steph. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
Question number 37. Who directed and wrote True Romance? Who directed and who wrote True Romance? Two different people. True Ma Sophia Coppola, Coppola for the director, and then writer. I don't know. No, that's not right. Wait, what right, the fuck? True stupid. Romance. Oh shit! Stupid. You said, yeah, okay. Any guess those two? No, stupid. Tony Scott directed it and Quentin Tarantino wrote it. What the fuck were we just talking about that had romance in the title that I just got confused for? Lost in Translation, we're talking about. Why was I. Why Lost in Translation. I don't know. Okay, bonus question. Who directed Natural Born Killers? That's another script that Tarantino wrote but didn't direct. Mmm, Chopper, you played in Natural Born Killers? Uh, you can name both the leads, then the alchemy part. Both the leads? Oh, okay. Um, and the character names. That's, yeah. a, that's a different point. You don't have to need to mean both. Both character names is one point, <laughs> both actors is another point. Um. I give you the movies they played in because you know. No. <laughs> that would be Julia Lewis and Woody Harrelson, and the characters are Mickey and Mallory. Uh, but you no know one else who directed Natural Born Killers? That's all of his stuff. For an easier one, who directed uh, From Rustle Dawn, which Tarantino also wrote? No one knows that one? We got like every dumb question in the wrong <laughs> up until this point. <laughs> This actually was one and of probably questions. beyond this point as well. This wasn't one of the written questions. The other one, yeah. the other one wasn't written either. Actually, Not, actually, I don't know if any of the from us ones written. These were like bonus points. I was trying to give you guys to so you could get something. Yeah. <laughs> you try to throw us bonus points. Yeah. Bonus points. It's directed by Robert Rodriguez. His buddy Robert Rodriguez, who's yeah. a frequent collaborator. Okay. Um. Oh, bonus, bonus. For that one. Uh, which film? Did Oliver Stone write? He's the director of Natural Book Killers. I don't know if I said that or not. He directed yeah. Natural Book Killers. Which one did Oliver Stone write that was directed by Brian De Palma? Very famous movie. You guys are going to be pissed off when you don't get it. <laughs> what? Seriously. Three, two, one. It's Scarface. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Question number 38. Uh, who played the titular Shaft in the movie? Shaft. Shaft. Either the original or the remake. If you can name either actor, you get a point. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Yeah. In the remake, yeah. Yeah. Can you name the original for an extra point? Another unknown black dude. Uh, <laughs> no, he is well known. You well known? Ah. Uh, oh, I should be up to date with my African American history. The question was originally, you gotta name both of them for a point, but I'm kind of... Yeah, Black well, History Month is coming out. Like, <laughs> Get your shit together. His name is Richard Roundtree. Richard Roundtree. Roundtree, Roundtree. Question number 39. What Wait, is... You point? No. Yeah, you got yeah, yeah. Question number 39. What is a snorri cam? A snorri, a snorri cam? cam? It's a piece of film equipment. What is it? What is it? Do you get to say sort of what it does or how it's used? What type of shot it delivers? A snorri cam? It's a piece of camera up. A snorri cam. Is it? Ah. Is it when it like someone's lying and then it like kind of spirals down? That movement? Is <laughs> <laughs> somebody no. lying down? No, no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It's just like, it's like, it's like a little camera tube that you like, you use. It's like for colonoscopies? No. <laughs> <laughs> Any other guesses? No. No, does it have like a filter? I've never, I've never heard of this. Story, right. A story cam is the piece of equipment that gets mounted on the actor for the shots where the camera's in front of them. Uh -huh. And they, when they move, they stay perfectly in frame and it looks like the world's moving around. So like, so a, a, story like a drunk effect to like... Kind of, yeah, they use it a lot for that. Yeah. Uh, the bonus question was, can you name what movie was invented for? So you probably can't get that, but you could take a guess. Wait, can I name a, oh, wait, invented for? Can I name a movie yeah, that, have, that had effect in? Like, no, because there's tons of movies. Well, okay. Two. <laughs> The movie was meant for was Pi by Darren Aronofsky. He's, he's the guy who, he, he didn't invent it himself, he had guys make it, mm -hmm. um, invent the snore cam to get a particular shot in Pi, and they test, it was actually before Pi was to test the effect. Do you know why they call it snore cam? Uh, that's what the people, I think their brothers were named Snorri or something like that, and they mm -hmm. named it after themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, it was two guys who invented it. So that was that question. Question number 40. Which of the following is a real superhero? <laughs> Arm fall off man, the atomic bus boy, or Captain Bloody Anus? Arm for off, man. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a guess or did you know that one? No, DC. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a nerd, bro. I'm a nerd. What? The movie was again. I think it's like a lot of people. He was a superhero, uh, like, 
The, the last question I'll tell you is not a good question in any way. Okay. <laughs> What's my middle name? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the last round here. Round five. Okay, what was Cool Hand Luke arrested for in Cool Hand Luke? Cool Hand Luke. Damn, we just saw that movie with that, on that Did dude. You? On, on that dude. That dude's little website where he got like seven. A seven oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, we saw the DVD cover. <laughs> what was he? Buy it. Is this yeah. Cool Hand Luke is about a, it's Paul Newman in a prison camp. What was he arrested for? It's a very common trivia question, actually. I see this other things. Three, two, one. He was arrested for cutting the heads off of parking meters. Question number 42. What was the name of Butch Cassidy's gang? You have two Paul Newman questions in a row. Butch Cassidy? Yeah, Butch, Butch, Butch Cassidy and yeah, and the Sundance Kid was part of this gang. What was the name of the gang that Butch Cassidy was head of? Oh, wait. Bottle Rocket, which you should know. Who no, you get it all three. That's a cool question. Who directed Bottle Rocket? Who directed the Death Race? And who directed The Master? <laughs> Their names are all in the game. That, that's, that's why it's one question. The, the names link together. Mm. Okay. Oh, so, does it? You need all three to get it. We mean link together like this. But the names are very similar and they sort of connect to each other. So like in spelling wise or like blood related wise? No, not blood related wise. So spelling wise? Yeah. Unless like pronunciation wise. The yeah, three directors with sort of similar names. That's your clue. Okay, so <laughs> I know one director. Okay. Will that help me? Yeah, if you can. If you can yeah. All right, so Wes Anderson. Yeah, Wes Anderson's the first one. Yeah, yeah Wes Paul Anderson. Thomas Anderson. He's the last one. Yeah. Paul Thomas Anderson. The middle Anderson. one is the bridge and gap. Thomas. Shit, dude, I don't know. Damn. I was so confused when you first said it. I was like, yeah, Wes no, Anderson. No, and you said the other ones. I was so, like, wait, what? Okay. So what name fits between Wes Anderson and Paul Thomas Anderson? Something, something Thomas. <laughs> no. Five, four, three, two, one. It goes Wes Anderson, Paul W.S. Anderson, Paul Thomas Anderson. That's all. That's the kind of show. Mm. Wes Anderson, Paul W.S. Anderson, and Paul Thomas Anderson. Mm. 44. Over how many years was Boyhood shot? How old was the kid? It was shot over 15 years, right? No. Fuck, really? 12 years, right? Yes. 12? Mark 12, 12 years to make it. God damn it, that's like all the fucking ghosts yep. too. Do you have some more severe questions? <laughs> Who is Green Lantern? <laughs> wow, <Robins>. Rins! <laughs> <laughs> It's not like you said Ronald Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> why do my why do my points look so thick? <laughs> because the marker is that. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, you just gotta hold it upside down. That's, that's cool. You give yourself an extra point. Oh, you gotta hold it upside down. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> forty-five. How many decades are covered in Goodfellas? Time periods wise. Uh -huh. How many are covered? It covers a lot of years. It covers four decades. No. <laughs> I kill myself. <laughs> Do you want to answer this, Alvaro? Let's just take a guess. How many decades did it cover? Five years. No, five years. <laughs> five years. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, decades. Okay. Alvaro, you want to take a guess? It takes place in like maybe five hmm? decades. Yes, three decades. Oh. Lucky, lucky bet. Okay. Cool. The 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. Question number 46. What is the name of the person who works in the bar that is shot in the foot by Joe Pesci in Goodfellas? Follow up Goodfellas question. Ah, shit. I'm you better all have seen Goodfellas. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, but. The person that Joe Pesci shoots in the foot of yeah. that iconic scene. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I remember the scene very vividly, too. I can't remember the dude's name. Right, though? It's a pretty uh, unusual name. Let's give you that. Is it? Oh, okay. I think it's your 
Spider, his name is Spider. Spider, Spider. For a uh, 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 little auxiliary point, what um, that actor went on to star? What uh, or not star? Well, yeah, pretty much star. What actor went on? To, what that actor went on to be on which gangster TV show? Yes, The Sopranos. <laughs> the Sopranos. He, he, he played Christopher. Yeah. Good job, bro. Give me the fucking cannolis. Mm. You guys have got the last three questions? Take a pen, no need to come back. Okay, question number 47. Who starred with Richard Pryor in films such as See No Evil, Hear No Evil, and Stir Crazy? Who is his co star in those two movies? I do not know. They were a comedic people. Mm -hmm. Oh, what assholes. Right. Oh, um, shit. I keep swearing too much, I'm sorry. <laughs> No guesses? No. Okay, for your hint, he's the man who played Willy Wonka in the original Trailer on Top. Oh, wow. 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 Yes. I did not even know that. Man. Number 48, you guys are almost done here. What film featured Meg and Jack White, Tom Waits, and one of the Ramones all playing themselves? It's an actual mo written movie with dialogue and a script. It's not a music video or anything. It has to be recent. No. Really? Well, I mean, like... It's not super old. Yeah, like, what? Ten years old? From, like, the 90s. Yeah. Which is, like, 20 years old now. That's kind of crazy to think. <laughs> the movie was Coffee and Cigarettes. Oh, Directed by Jim Jarmusch. Now it's not a good combination. Uh, I question number 49. You guys are almost in here. What real life people did Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer play in the movie Tombstone? Real life Western figures yeah, yeah, Western. who have been in many movies, but in Tombstone specifically. Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell. If you can name either, you're playing at this point. Can just talk about this? Sam, your face, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> I had expected better of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. I'm not mad. I know I made this hard because I thought you guys would be up to the challenge. Any guesses? No, I think that was Kurt Russell time. played Wyatt Earp, and Val Kilmer played Doc Holliday. So here's the non-film question. Nope, you got one more. Okay. There's 51 questions. Though. Oh. Question 50. So 50. Which two? Oh, okay, this one's really hard. I'm <laughs> which two films are? It's very specific too, but which two films are both about dysfunctional families going through a divorce? Are set in New York. Prominently feature tennis. Feature the father collapsing in the street near the end, and are made by filmmakers who are friends and collaborators in their life. Spider-Man One. Yo, that. Father going through a divorce. He just heard <laughs> New York. <laughs> so I did die on the streets, though. His uncle died on the streets, though. His father. <laughs> His father collapsing in the street. Oh, shit. Any guesses? It's pretty specific, but if you don't know the movies, you're probably gonna get it. Is there one like have a Mexican cast in? The what? Mexican cast, he said. They want to have a Mexican cast. Oh, well. No way. What movie are you thinking of? I, I can't. <laughs> Take of a movie. Okay, the two movies were The Royal Tenenbaums and The Squid and the Whale. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay, now that is it for the last film so, questions. Yeah. Question number 50, not a film question. I figured it would work for the end question though. What does PS stand for? Postscript. So yes! You got it! I'm not supposed to bullshit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lucas wins 13 points to 8 to uh, 2. <laughs> Suck my dick. Will. Nice working with you. Nice working with you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh you're so funny. 